the dissection of 213. A video overdue and likely underdone. However, here we have the predecessor ACs from my friends, some of the ones that it fought on a very regular basis, and some of the ones that I used, Crash's Ragnarok, which was the defining moment for it, and Solo, the AC that it generally traces its lineage back to. There's not a lot of similarities between them as you can see, but this particular mission, fight, whatever you want to call it, with Rag is the fight that defines 213 to me to this day. Now we all know the ethos if you saw the first video. If you haven't, go back and watch it. It'll cover most of the build mechanics. But just to catch you up in case you haven't seen it, you want to finish this first. 213 essentially works off ACS break chaining the opponent. It doesn't do a lot of damage during ACS break. It's respectable, but it's not high. Around 4,000 on mids to lights with machine guns. The weenie here is getting the bomb thrower first, the missile to hit second, and then finishing off with either machine guns or a second bomb toss. Once the ACS break hits, you hold your missile lock until about halfway through it, fire the javelin. As soon as they get their clear bar back, you toss bombs, javelin hits, machine guns up, rinse, repeat. But I wasn't ready for that. I was, I was trying to still do this sort of thing. Pile bunker, chainsaw sort of shenanigans. That lance hit, this game, made me change my mind. And we added a feature to a 213, something that I was just, I didn't think it would be any good. But throwing stuff at walls to see what stuck, I decided to try out one of Ray's decisions. Bomb thrower. Turned out to be pretty good in hindsight even on a mech that it has to stop to use it. Now that said, this is the defining game. This fight defined 213's ethos both forward and back, the one you've seen since, and really what I think about it for and what it led up to. I've already described its general game plan, but here you will see it do something that truly made me appreciate what that could do and just how much ACS break chains, even if the damage isn't really there, could truly mess with the opponent and set myself up for victory. Obviously, to get this out the way, 213 is not a meta AC. That should be well known. It's just not. There are much better designs, but you're here for this. And this little sequence of events right here, which we'll play back now, this is the moment that all of 213's cards came together. The javelin hits. The machine guns hold the ACS during evasion. I know he has a charged energy cannon and a lance right here. This exact frame. Catching the lance mid-charge changed the way I thought about this AC and the game to some degree for at least a month. And it still does. Even with the lower range back then, this was the turning point that I needed to figure out what I wanted to do with 213 going forward. And if it hadn't been for Ragnarok at the time, and other suggestions, this would not have happened. This ending right here, this exact moment, is what pinned 213's future. To this day, apparently, at least to the point of recording. Because I've changed the back around a little bit, you'll see that later on in the video. And I get mixed results, I think. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, okay, well, what makes this special? Honestly, really, in the state of the meta, not much. But to me, it's special. Simply for that was my moment of recogni recognition to where I saw what I wanted to do and saw what I could get away with. Now, again, it's just, it's just against friends right now. And these are old fights, so... The piloting in here is not going to be the best, understand that. We had not fully acclimated the Armored Core 6 yet. That said, take a long look at how many ACS breaks this AC can get. What is 213 really missing? Defense for one, that's the obvious one. It is a wet paper sack. It's not as bad as Mercury, but it's still pretty bad. But it doesn't have punish damage. 
It doesn't have that ability to one-shot. But what it can do is, more often than not, get multiple ACS breaks, sometimes back to back to back, very quickly. If it gets the first one, and the first one matters, it can get them in rapid succession after that. Now, of course, the shield is the biggest problem for it, as it always has been. And honestly, the shield is a problem for a lot of my designs. But there you have it. The ethos completed. As for that, 213's fought a lot of other stuff too, like this. You know, this is uh, one of Salt's older designs. And it is a take on meat. He calls it tenderized meat, I think. And it, if it gets you, it can usually one-shot you. And if it doesn't, it's pretty close. Chainsaw hits hard. This will be a time I'm going to use to talk about 213's general... Uh, we'll call it compromised decision-making. It's clear that this is a close quarters AC without a lot of other options. And that is its one of its biggest detriments. It has to fight close. Meaning things like hammer-equipped missile rats are going to tear it apart. The Javelin recently got nerfed. Not badly in my opinion, but it did take a balancing. And I honestly don't care. It's worked for me just as good afterwards as it did before, so I'm not overly worried about it. But this brings me to my next subject. 213 has received stealth nerfs occasionally, a couple buffs over the patches, and honestly I don't think any of them have really affected him that much. It still does what it needs to do. It's still decent among most of the ACs I have put together. The only one that truly outclasses it is SWAT, but SWAT's a BVO design. Without the back show, I suppose, but so VO. And those recently got nerfed. So it's up to kind of up in the air if SWAT's even better than 213 now. Going from there, that is kind of the spirit, if you will, that this AC has uh, garnered. Nerfs buff. Doesn't really matter that much to it. Nothing's killed it yet. Rom hasn't killed it. My idiocy hasn't killed it. And redesigning it has only ever made things take sidesteps. Later in the video, you'll see it with the Shao Wei uh, chain gun with the bomb thrower on the arm. It's a decent change, but I don't think it's a good one. Someone also talks me into, instead of the Shao Wei, to use the Trino missiles as a punish, which is the one thing 213, as you know, has kind of lacked. But the buildup suffers at that point. The not having the two machine guns in the hand caused problems. This is what I consider a successful design. I again, it's not meta. It's not. It's not the best thing out there now. And I guess we'll move on, segue to how I design ACs uh, going forward. I don't do gimmicks. It seems like this is a gimmick, but really it's a solid setup. Things like Mercury are a gimmick. Mercury's fun, but Mercury's not the subject here. Um, ACs like 213 and 4 are the ones who are well put together, even if they're not necessarily the most successful. Now, I would like to say that the success I have had with them has been good, but truth be told, it's not even really success. It's mostly just I'm a decent player, I'm, not, I'm no pro, and the design itself carries me. With that said, the attention to design, or the attention to detail in the design, is not exactly absent. I did spend a lot of work trying to get this where it was, and to this day still it kind of is. It needs fixing, but those fixes I think have come. The estrogen buff has actually been a very big benefit to it. And it's yet to get a test done, but I'm fairly certain it will uh, increase the, the overall aptitude of the AC. For those of you looking to, I guess, put together your own form of this, you can always copy it. 213 is not complex. The other video shows it as much. But I would also say that that's... Uh, a dangerous prospect. It's much better to build something you are completely tailored for and that 
you can work yourself into. Getting a little philosophical here at the back end because I don't have a whole lot else to talk about this T13 specifically. You've seen most of its history. At this point, you've seen the AC in several videos, no doubt. If you're new to the channel, there's only really a few that are worth watching as far as 213 performing super well. But the other burn build video, again, I'm going to reference it here. Sh uh, shameless self plug. It is worth it just to see the breakdown of the AC. It's also a product of its competition. Uh, 213 had to put up with a lot of, we'll call it fatties and other such ACs that were just really, really hard to hear. ACS break, stop, or just taking a straight fight. So I had to be my tricky self and put things together. And that's uh, got me this far. Here's an example of the Trino design. And this is a little bit of an unfair fight. But the Torinos do what they do here, and it shouldn't really surprise anyone that they function. Whiskey is one of the ACs I have the hardest time fighting with Q13, and it's simply because we exist in the same range and the pistols are just much better at ACS build. Our associate here is, I mean, he's been running this AC since the game came out. He's competent with it. Every now and then he flubs his blade strikes, but for the most part, not that big of a problem. So I have to be extra careful here. Bit of an anime moment, but that's what we're here for. Ultimately, if there's anything you've... So I'm getting tired of listening to my voice throughout the video. If there's anything you've taken away from this video, it's that a design that's not necessarily standard can still be good. Oh, again, gonna em gonna emphasize again. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it's not that. It's not. And I doubt it will be by the time this video gets posted. I don't see this kind of design ever truly picking up just because it's a lightweight and because I mean, I stopped and used one of my main weapons. And in this case, two of them. That said, during this fight, the Javelin and the Torino both have a little signal when they fire. That can be tricky as well. You never really know unless you're paying real sharp attention which one's going off. Potentially a super useful uh, tool. Anyway, we're coming to the close on the video. One more round listed. And if you guys enjoy what you see here, and if you want to see more of this, let me know. Because this breakdown is... As in-depth as I can really get. To a degree, I would have to spend a lot more time and a lot more editing to get anything else. And I'll be honest, there's not just there's just not that much there. Armor Core 6 is a much simpler game than some of the nuanced stuff in the past. It's not FA, and there's not as much to break down. That said, I've enjoyed it. I still like playing it, I just don't have time right now a lot of the time and just let me know there is going to be a breakdown of mercury at some point but i don't know when mercury's been a problem for a long time trying to get anything out so take it easy guys i hope you enjoyed this see you later